everybody, it's Kristen, and happy Tag Tuesday to you. For those of you that are new, every once in a while I switch up Topic Tuesday, and I will do something called Tag Tuesday. And I've been tagged to do the Hot Lips Hula Hand Tag um, by, and I just want to get her name right, Lady Lulu on Beauty. She has been a longtime subscriber and um, YouTube friend of mine, so I'm, I'm happy to try to do this. I'm not sure how good I will do. I told her that on her video, but... Um, at any rate, I will list her video below, and then I was also tagged by the beautiful Tammy from Uppies Beads, so I will list her below as well. Thank you to both of you ladies for tagging me. So as I understand it, this tag is, you know, was set up for people that remember MASH and watched MASH and not in syndication. Well, that actually wasn't me, but I'm happy to do <laughs> this anyway. Uh, I think MASH might have been on when I was younger. I, I don't know exactly what the years that it ran. What are the years that it ran? I can't remember. But I remember my parents watching, but I was not allowed to watch it. So there you go. All right, number one. In 100 words or less, describe your winter, summer skin types. Um, well, my summer skin type is dry and my winter is drier. <laughs> I used to be pretty much normal to a tad oily. And then in the past probably seven years, I have gone, I've gotten drier, drier, and drier. So... Um, what eye cream did you use last night? Well, actually, I'm using up a deluxe sample of the Algenist Eye Balm, and I do, I quite like it. It's, it's a nice, it's a nice, I don't know that it beats my Bobbi Brown, but, which is, it is probably double the price, but I do really, I like it. Uh, number three, how is the hunt going for a neck cream? I don't use a neck cream. I take, much like Tammy, whatever I happen to be using on my face, I just bring down onto my neck. Uh, number four, what, I have the questions right here, by the way. <laughs> number four, what skincare products are helping you win the war on aging? I think overall, I really, I know it's expensive, but I really have enjoyed the Algenist line very much. The moisturizer and the serum. Uh, and I'll talk about that at some point when I do kind of a, an overview of all the Algenist products I've used. I'm working with some other ones in order to do that. But other than that, I think most recently, um, like Tammy, it's masking. I, I feel like the addition of masking in the past, gosh, how long have I been doing now? Maybe six months, something like that, has really made a difference on my skin. And I just feel like my overall appearance of my skin, the tone, all of it is, is much better. So I would say masking. And then I also think that adding in the um, Ula Henriksen Truth Serum in the morning, I really feel like that's made a big difference in brightening up my skin. I've talked about that a bunch. Um, so, and I do, I have, I have a review if you're, if you're curious on more information on that. Um, do you still use black eye, or do you, yeah, do you still use black eyeliner? I do. I, I do use black eyeliner. And what's interesting is that anytime I, rim my whole eye if I do my upper waterline and lower waterline you guys always love that <laughs> well most of you I'm sure not all of you <laughs> but I get a lot of a lot of comments on when I do that um is face powder your friend or your enemy um I don't I think I'm kind of I'm like Switzerland <laughs> depends on the day okay do you care if blush has sparkle I don't like sparkle. I don't mind sheen, but I don't. I don't like sparkle at all. I actually never really have, so I'm not sure that that's an aging thing or if that's just my personal preference. But any makeup tricks to help you look more youthful? I think. I think the biggest thing that I have learned in the past few years is to kind of move everything up. Uh, you know, so your contour, I'm going to look in the mirror so that I make sure I'm pointing in the right place. You know, your contour, start right here. And that's something I probably just learned in the last year. Let's keep that contour up here, blush up a little bit. And something that I've told to a lot of people, and even I have a hard time making sure that I do it, is I try, try to make sure I'm going to look again, that my eyeshadow, you know, kind of goes like this. Because if, if it's out here or down here, I used to have it way more down here before I did YouTube. And, um, or before I found you too, <laughs> and, and it just really drags down your whole face. So I really try to, you know, get everything up. <laughs> give your sisters of, or this is number nine, give your beauty sisters of a certain age three quick makeup tips. You know, I would say only wear as much makeup as you need on your face. 
uh, as as you, <laughs> I'm not sure quite exactly how to say this. Somebody just asked me on Twitter the other day, and I think she was. She said she was 19. She's like, if I have good skin, do I have to wear foundation? I was like, um, no. If you don't have, you know, I I if you have beautiful skin, especially if you're 19, take advantage of having the beautiful skin and let your skin breathe. You don't put anything on it if you don't have to. Don't put anything on it just to put something on it. I think I kind of fall fell victim to that back in the day. So I, I would say, you know, on, only put on as much as your skin needs. But on the flip side of that, do what you need to do to feel comfortable. So that's that. Another makeup tip I would say is, I'm probably going to get blasted for this, but there are no rules in, in makeup, I think. You know, I've had people tell me before, oh, aren't you supposed to do this lip with that kind of an eye or whatever? You've got to do you. Do be you. I, I wish that I had I wish that I had come into my own in that frame of thinking long time ago. Just be you. <laughs> I don't know. I'm getting all on a soapbox over a tag video, but just just do you and be comfortable with what with who you are. Number ten, <laughs> moving on. Are you using any weapons of mass destruction on your age spots? I, I'm not. I don't know that I have age spots so much as I have um, some acne that I never dealt with when I was younger. In the past couple of years, I kind of get spots here and then they stay dark. But other than that, I don't have any age spots. Um, does the phrase thinning hair have a special meaning to you? Um, yeah, actually, but in a different way than aging. My hair started to thin when I had gastric bypass surgery a few years ago. So... Um, I have been kind of struggling with that ever since I do. It kind of comes back every once in a while. It'll go through a spurt, and I look like a Chia Pet. Is what it is. Which looks younger, your hands or your neck? Uh, my neck, maybe? I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> uh, what bothers you most? 11s, crow's feet, or lip lines? I, I would say... Yeah, I think it's a toss-up between crow's feet and lip lines. I don't really have... I guess I have a little bit of 11s if I really try hard. But as a general rule, I don't have those, so... Um, not yet, anyway. Have you ever had to pluck a chin hair yet? Um, not pluck, but I do... Um, I use the... It's the the razors there, the Tinkle brand. No joke, that's what they're called. I found those from Marnie, from Miss Gold Girl. I use the, that on my face every week to 10 days. Number 15, what do you do about your mustache? Same thing. <laughs> How many pairs of reading glasses do you own? I don't own any. I'm 41, by the way, in case anybody's curious how old I am. You win your choice of a neck lift, eye lift, boob lift, or tummy tuck. Which do you choose? Um, due to the amount of weight that I have lost and am continuing to very slowly <laughs> lose, I would say a boob lift just because... Well, just be, well, there's my answer. Let's move on. <laughs> Are you more concerned about wrinkling or sagging? I don't know. I guess sagging a little bit. I don't, I have wrinkles. I, I think I maybe have more wrinkles than your average 41 year old does. I don't really know. I guess I don't pay attention to other people's wrinkles. But um, I do, I have a lot of facial expressions. I laugh a lot. I smile a lot, <laughs> so I think I'm going to have my fair share of wrinkles. Do you go sleeveless in Walmart, or do you go sleeveless to Walmart in the summer? Yeah. Um, I don't go sleeveless very often, but if I happen to be, usually the only time I'm going sleeveless is if I'm going to be outside for a period of time, like if we're going for a round of golf or something like that, just so that I don't get crazy tan lines. Best memory of your mother's beauty routine. Um, the oil of Olay smell will always remind me of my mother. She has used that and still does use that since the day, since I can remember. She's always, always used that. So, all right. So though that is the those are the questions of the hot lips hot lips Houlihan tag. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions. <laughs> leave them below. Um, otherwise, if you're not interested in seeing what's on my face, thank you so much for watching. Oh, and thank you so much to Lulu and to Tammy. Um, Lulu for creating the tag and tagging me and to Tammy for tagging me as well. 
And if you're not interested in seeing what's on my face, thank you for watching. And if you are, I'll run it down very quickly for you. I have the Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum Foundation on my face. And over the top of that, I have the Milani Multitasker Face Powder. For my blush today, I have the Master Highlight Blush in Mauve. It looks like that. And on my eyes, I use the Maybelline Color Tattoo here. In... I think it's called Sleek and Spice. There's a little label over it. This is one of the limited edition. I have not seen these at all, but um, one of my subscribers and friends, Sal Amanda, found that for me and hooked, hooked a sister up. And then I had the quad that I have on today. It's the Flower Beauty Quad in Foxy Browns. I have the taupe all over the lid. I have a little bit of the pink kind of in the inner third-ish just dusted over that taupe. And then I have the dark brown in the outer corner and a little taupe liner underneath. That is about it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you very soon. Bye.